The sheer scope of the destruction in Fort McMurray is staggering. Now imagine being at a hotel in Toronto and watching your home on television burn up in flames. That's the very first story I found a couple on the plane on my flight from Toronto to Edmonton. This is too heartbreaking. Tamara and Robert just landed on a flight from Toronto to Edmonton, and those bags you see are pretty much all they have left in the world. The couple was on a three-week vacation that ended with a few days in Toronto when they turned on the TV and saw this. We turned on the news, watched the news a little bit, and found out that all of Beacon Hill was basically completely gone. One of those homes in flames used to look like this, Tamara and Robert's home for the past five years. A friend managed to throw a few of their things together before joining the caravan of frantic people fleeing Fort McMurray. We've got a um, bag of clothes that he had thrown together for us. Um, he man we managed to get our cats out and one piece of memorabilia from family and that's all we got. Grandpa's sword? Yeah. I got my grandpa's sword that he gave to me just before he passed away last year. Their neighborhood simply doesn't exist anymore. When do you envision trying to go back to see what is salvageable from your home? As soon as we can get in, we're going to go and have a look. You know more than anybody the, the tough road that's ahead because your, your job is repairing and build, rebuilding homes after fire and, and floods. Yeah, we're actually, a, we're actually a company up in Fort McMurray that does fire and flood restoration. And while they struggle to come to grips with all they and their neighbours have lost, Tamara and Robert are grateful for what they still have. We say that everything can be replaced, but to know that everything that, like photographs, um, letters, it's all gone. It is. Um, you have the memories of it, though. Uh, keep the memories alive and keep the vault in your head, I guess. And I guess it's just it's, make new memories now. Yeah. Move forward and start fresh. Now, Tamara and Rob are actually staying with friends in Edmonton, unlike the people that you're just seeing here pulling up after making the long journey uh, from Fort McMurray. Our Shauna Hunt now with the equally powerless feeling that people have back in Toronto as they watch those images and this story unfold.